New at 10, a major player in the world of STEM says the future of the aerospace industry is right here in New Orleans. Yeah, STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The Boeing company is investing $1 million into a project that will bring an innovation hub to New Orleans East. Whitney Miller sat down with STEM NOLA to talk about their project and its plans to give the youth in our community a brighter future. Dr. Calvin Mackey says when he got the call that Boeing was investing a million dollars into his STEM program, no one was around to celebrate. I told the people, hold on, I got to go find somebody to hug. And there was nobody in the office. I was just running around in the office. Running around with excitement, knowing that the youth in New Orleans were one step closer to having a place where they can bolster a bright future. Major player in STEM in the world. Uh, saw our work and it was in not acknowledging the value that we bring to the table. From building rockets to building the human heart and learning how it works, STEM NOLA provides monthly access to STEM activities for children of all ages. If our kids want to go to the NBA or the NFL, there's places for them to go. But when my nine-year-old son said he wanted to learn artificial intelligence and machine learning, there was no place for him to go. Boeing's million-dollar donation will go to help the organization construct a multi-million-dollar innovation hub. A place, a treehouse, a destination where our children who want to, want to have immersive experiences in STEM and learn, you know, the skills and the technologies of the 21st century. Jennifer Bolin Masterson with Boeing Space Launch System says it's important to get children interested in STEM early on in their education. Can't do it in high school. You need to start at the grade uh, school level. Um, and so I think these innovation hubs are crucial uh, for our children and our future in business. Because people are bringing their kids in and they're saying, I had no idea that she would like something like this. That's what exposure does. In New Orleans, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News. STEM NOLA plans to break ground on the 40,000 square foot building later this year. Also, 